Paris because I'll be here for a really really exciting event. Um, I just checked into my hotel and this is my view. Check this. Out. This is the freaking view from my hotel room. Look at this. Wow. Good morning Paris. Good morning you guys and welcome again from Paris. It's still dark outside as you can see and I woke up, what time is it right now? It's 7.37 and I woke up at 6. Um, didn't really sleep that well to be honest but I went to the gym, did a three mile run and now I'm feeling nice and refreshed and obviously using any excuse I can get to wear a beret. Um, Paris is looking gorgeous as always. I'm just gonna head down now for some breakfast and then we're gonna get to the main event and I can't wait to show you guys. I'm super excited, so let's go. Got some fruit and then some muesli and they also have chia pudding. <laughs> this is my friend Anina. Hello. I'll leave her links down below. <laughs> finished the panel and it was actually so interesting. Um, so there was Sam Cass who was, mo uh, who was the moderator and he is a chef from the White House and then we have different people. We obviously have Ignore's spokesperson as well as um, someone from WWF and it's, it was just extremely interesting and pretty much what happened is that Noor and WWF are actually doing a collaboration. They brought out a study on 50 few 50 foods, which they call the future 50 foods, um, which are number one, um, extremely high nutritional value wise, and at the same time have the least environmental Im uh, impact. So super, super cool. And they have the ingredients right here in the back. And let me show you guys. super super cool campaign essentially it's all based around increasing the nutritional value while decreasing the environmental impact and I'm extremely happy to be a part of this movement and really really super excited about some food now. As chef and restaurateur we ought to support um, sustainability uh, we ought to offer a more plant-based orientated menus um, and can be challenging, you know. Um, when I received the list of the uh, future 50 food reports, uh, it was a little bit like opening your fridge on a Sunday night and deciding what you're gonna eat. Um, <clears throat> but I was, I was uh, able with my team 
to develop uh, seven uh, propositions using 22 um, of these uh, ingredients. So this is a Fonio croquette. Um, it's all vegan and it's made from a grain called Fonio which is extremely um, drought resistant, grows in two months, super sustainable and it's from Africa. So we have a bean ragu right here and I can't remember what else but I'll make sure to take a picture of it um, of the menu later but let me give this a try. So this apparently is dessert, even though it kind of looks savory, but it's lentils actually. So I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> 